Welcome to a new question of the day. In previous videos, we used tools to describe the link between either two qualitative variables or between two quantitative variables. Now imagine a fruit composed of three main sugars. How can we visualize in one chart the relative proportions of these sugars over a handful of fruits? We will answer the question using ternary diagrams or ternary plots. These data correspond to the relative proportions of three sugars measured over four varieties of fruits, varieties A, B, C, and D. Two fruits are measured per variety. Note that sugar proportions per fruit add up to one, which is a constant. Our goal here is to describe the sugar composition of these eight fruits using a two-dimensional chart. Ternary diagrams allow us to describe individuals according to three quantitative variables, under the condition that their sum is a constant. Ternary diagrams or ternary plots are frequently used in geology, mineralogy, chemistry, and many other fields. Here's how to set up a ternary diagram using Excel stat. Go to Visualizing Data and select Ternary Diagram. In the X1 field, select Proportion of Sugar 1. In the X2 field, Proportion of Sugar 2. And in the X3 field, Proportion of Sugar 3. Once you activated the Object Labels, select Variety. In the Charts tab, activate Projection Lines. Then click OK. Here you have our result. So how do you interpret a ternary diagram? The diagram sides represent three variables. In this case, our sugar concentrations. Points represent our fruits. To know one's composition, simply follow the projection lines linking them to each variable. Take this one for example. Its proportion of sugar 2 is around 0.6, proportion of sugar 3 is close to 0, and proportion of sugar 1 is under 0.4. Globally speaking, varieties A and C seem to have a similar composition given their proximity on the diagram. Varieties B and D, on the other hand, each constitute one relatively independent group. We just examined a way to represent three quantitative variables on the same chart under certain conditions. In upcoming videos, we will show methods that help mining information in data tables, which include more variables. We will talk about exploratory data analysis. See you soon.